Pterodactyl here, and I'm gonna go over some of the reasons of why your belt would snap. Look at that, snapped right in half. And this was a new belt that we had sold a customer. Now, these are some of the reasons why this happens. One of them is going too fast with the deck all the way down on the ground, trying to cut the grass with dull blades. So what happens is the engine is spinning at full RPM and the mower blades can't keep up with this grass because you're feeding too much, the blades are dull, and you get slack in the belt. And then all of a sudden when you get to a point to where the mower deck can catch up with the engine speed, it takes that slack out of the belt and snap -o, snaps the belt. That's one of the reasons because that's what happened with this one. The customer bought this belt, put it on, and they said it didn't even last five or six passes and they broke it. And I said, you need to bring the lawnmower in so we could look at it. I looked at it and them blades were so, so dull, there was no edge to it. They were just perfectly rounded, quarter inch thick steel that was just rounded off. And of course they were going with the deck all the way down because they wanted to cut the grass and it was real tall and they were going as fast as they could trying to cut it. So you can't do that. Another thing you need to be aware of too is your pulleys. The V part of the pulley. So a lot of people aren't aware of this but when this belt is running and spinning you're kicking up dirt and dust and dirt and dust is an abrasive and it's running across this over time especially if you got an older tractor and it'll eventually wear this will wear into the pulley to where the pulley is not gripping the belt is good it's actually slipping on there now I used to see this a lot when we used to work on those walk, those big walk behind mowers that had belts that drove the wheels and you controlled it with hand levers to steer it left and right, they would come in, we'd put brand new pulleys or brand new belts on there and the thing still wouldn't drive, it wouldn't pull up a hill or nothing. That's because the belt was slipping in the pulley because the pulleys, the V in the pulley was all wore out. We put new pulleys on with the new belt and that thing would climb up a telephone pole with it. So you gotta be aware of that, your pulleys get wore. So if you're having belt problems and your tractor's an older tractor, gotta reach in there and feel. If it's not smooth like this, if it's got a ridge, you need to go and replace all your pulleys. Even the one on the engine, if you got an electric clutch and it's never been replaced, that one could be wore too. So these are things you need to be aware of if you're having belt problems, especially if you're breaking them. It's usually stuff is wore out or you're doing something incorrectly. Another thing we see a lot is when people put the belts on, they don't route it correctly. Like here's a, here's a, a pulley brake here. I've seen this many times where they put the belt on and they got the belt on the outside of this and they destroy the belt immediately. So you gotta make sure you route it right and you got it on the right side of the belt guide. And also make sure you got the proper clearance. Make sure the belt guide is not too tight against the belt or too far away to where it's gonna make the belt come off because it's too far away from the guide. These are on here for a reason. Maybe yours broke off, maybe it wore off and you don't even know that it was there. So you gotta make sure your belt guides are in place. Didn't get wore off or broke off. That could be causing a belt problem. Belt coming off, getting chewed up as it comes, as it comes flying off. This stuff is all spinning, it gets chewed up. Also make sure you're using the right grade of belt. You know, there are cheap, just cheap rubber belts, like fan belts you buy at the auto parts store. 
That belt wasn't designed for a lawnmower. A lot of these lawnmower belts are wrapped. See, this is like a rubber belt with a cloth wrap or a Kevlar wrap on it, which makes it stronger. That's why you got to make sure you got the right belt. And does it have the right V? Does your manufacturer use a different V? Maybe they use a deeper V. Here's an example of a different V angle and thickness. This is a Murray belt. This is for a Murray mower. This is a deck belt. And this is just a standard half inch belt here that we've got. Look at the difference. This has got a different angle and it's thicker in the middle. Now I've run into this where people had Murray mowers and they went and just got a regular belt. And they go, hey Murray, that thing's going through belts all the time. I'm constantly about once a year putting a deck belt on there. And I go, that's because you need to use the Murray belt. The actual Murray belt. It's got a different angle and a different V. I also ran into that with my John Deere 318 I had. I was constantly going through mule belts because I was just using a standard V belt. And I got tired of changing that belt. So you know what, I went to John Deere and bought the John Deere belt. And when I looked up the specs on it, it had a different angle on it. And it was a little thicker, almost like this Murray belt. Because look at a Murray belt. This is just a half inch belt. It's a little bit thicker too, this way. So there are differences in belts. That's why it's important to use the right belt. You know, these, these standard belts like this, a lot of these are fine to use for a drive belt, you know, to go from the engine to the transmission. Because it's not going to get that much abuse as a deck belt. A deck belt, you know, that's spinning all them blades and stuff. So make sure you use the right belt. Some of these manufacturers got odd size belts. A 46 inch belt, say. And then your manufacturer says, it's gotta be a 46 and a half. Or it's gotta be a 46 and a quarter. That little bit of difference sometimes makes a difference. Maybe you got the type of mower where you have to manually engage the deck. And if you use the wrong size belt, if it's too short, them blades are gonna be spinning, whether you got the deck engaged or not. And what that does, it's spinning a little bit, that means it's dragging. And when it's dragging, it's creating heat. And when it creates heat, it's gonna wear the belt out faster. So these are things you all have to be aware of if you're having problems. Don't just sit there and go, this stupid belt! I'm tired of buying you stupid belt all the time! Who that mower's a piece of crap? No, it's not the mower, it's you. You don't know what the heck you're doing. That's why I'm trying to help you. So calm down, I'm trying to help you. Don't get mad at the belts. It's something you're doing, obviously. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. Go to our web store and buy some Terrell apparel. We don't have the ham shirts there, but we got other stuff. We got Terrell shirts there, and slipper shirts, and all kinds of stuff. Follow me with your lawnmowers with the broken lawnmower belts on them on Facebook and Instagram. Come on, get that piece of junk tractor up here. Let's put a new belt on it. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Broken belts explain!